Hi Cancer, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your Is It In The Cards Love Tarot reading for March 2022. This is a love reading for all Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to everybody for all the support. I send you love and positive energy every day and hope you're all finding love in your lives. If you're new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if reading doesn't resonate, come back in a couple of days. You can always watch a new reading and Fridays are a general reading. Mondays are a different style every week. So this week is a love reading. Next week, it'll be something totally different. If you like tarot, and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Cancer need to know, please? For the best and highest good about love. Messages, love messages for Cancer, please. Okay. All right, so we will draw three cards to represent your energy, three cards for the person you're attracting, three cards on the advice. Your energy, you've got the Four of Wands, the Two of Swords, and the Devil. Their energy, they've got the Nine of Cups, the Page of Wands, the Seven of Cups. The advice is Justice, the Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles. Well, aces are all about new beginnings. And especially with the Ace of Pentacles, um, that's a nice card to have in a relationship reading. Now, you have here Capricorn and Libra showing up. You've got water, fire, and you do have air. You've got all the elements. Well, it's an interesting energy on your part here because the Four of Wands we know is a marriage card. It's a card of celebrating union, of being in a place of, you know, joy being absolutely over the moon but i feel like there must be something going on here with this two of swords and devil energy um you have let's see here two major arcana here um but with the two of swords it's definitely being caught in the middle of something being in a place of uncertainty the you know the twos are about partnerships and so with the two of swords there may be a conversation that needs to happen or for some of you if you have unfinished emotional business from the past it's time to shore that up because you've got a new energy coming in. And whether it is, a, you know, you might have to decide, I'm not going to have a conversation that I thought I was with that person. I'm not going to be able to handle that in the way I thought it was going to be handled, but the universe will handle it. I'm not going to keep letting myself, you know, pass more time being like this with that two of swords devil energy. Um, the two of swords, though, the bottom sword represents fear and the top sword represents anger. And so we have to let that go to move into this new vista because what's interesting about this that I really do love, the Four of Wands, it shows a couple leaving a walled off city into an open, it's like an open vista. And so it's leaving restriction into freedom. So whatever the devil shows up here, they're telling you, if it's been something that's been hindering a relationship, it's all about moving it forward. The devil's limitation, it is. it can be a real slave to old patterns, limited thinking, not living up to your potential in some way. Now, for some people too, the devil can indicate more of a sexual relationship than a real love relationship. And so if that's something from the past too, it's definitely time to cut it out with the um, Ace of Swords to let go of it. Because the de what's interesting about the devil too, that black in the backdrop, that contrast, it's the shadow side. And the shadow is not malevolent. It's really about teaching you. It's about learning the lessons you have to learn here so that you can move into your heart's desires. You can move into what you really want. So if you've had a toxic relationship, and I hear the phrase toxic stress, for some of you, it may have been affecting you physically. I see somebody like with hair loss happening. There was something about this, like a relationship that really hindered you, but it affected your body too. And so it really is about moving out of that with the Four of Wands, the 1111 card there. And there's something beautiful about the Four of Wands and the Nine of Cups showing up in the person you're attracting. So we're going to be free of this. We're going to be free of the bondage of self, especially with the Two of Swords, Devil, and the person you're attracting is just delightful. The Nine of Cups, Page of Wands gives them a fun energy. It's a thoughtful energy. It's the kind of person who's very selfless. 
very, very different from the devil energy. The nine of cups is a, is an, he's actually an innkeeper, but it's somebody who would, you know, let people stay at their place for a while, helps other people out. That's just who they are. And you might find that you even kind of question it, like, why are they doing that? It's just their nature. They aren't looking for any secondary gain from it. But that this person, whoever this is, is going to touch you deep. It is going to be a connection like you've not had. Now, if you've already met them, it's beautiful. It, it's, it's all about moving forward. The Nine of Cups is an energy of realization and I feel like for you it's like realizing there's a new beginning and that it's the the kind of love that's available to you that especially if you've been the one because with the devil two of swords in your energy if you've really done a lot for other people it's your time to be on the receiving end and I do feel like some of you are going to be a little uncomfortable with that it's just not the role you're used to playing allow it to be so see how it feels to have the shoe on the other foot and let somebody do some things for you be loving and kind and generous towards you. Now the page of wands is a great energy here. This is a person who's very adventurous. They are a go-getter by nature and they are an uplifter. The page of wands, this person is the kind of person that will sign you up for, you know, classes randomly or take you to new events that you'd never thought of going to. They have a, a zest for life. They love life. They love to be out and about and doing different things and just being in the mix. The the page, of, so they might have a lot of friends too, but I don't feel like it's anything threatening where they would put their, you know, other relationships ahead of this one. The page of wands, so the, is a, it's an energy of optimism, enthusiasm, and it's a great energy that comes in for expansion and for passion. Now with the seven of cups here, I do feel like they may have been dating quite a bit and it's more like they were just keeping it light and just not really in a serious relationship with anyone. I do feel like they, they're not needy in that way, so they wouldn't have been in something that they wouldn't have wanted to be in. You know, they wouldn't have just gone into a commitment just to be in something. So I do feel like they're ready for a commitment. They may, be, like I said, have been out there kind of looking around, but just not finding anyone. I also like, I feel like with the Seven of Cups, it's also... Um, an indication of their like wide interests. Like I said, they're up for anything. It's somebody who's going to be a lot of fun to be with and somebody though too, who does know how to commit and be in a relationship. So with justice here, justice is that cause and effect energy. It is a card though of success and protection. Some of you, it may be about putting your foot down with the devil energy and being done with it for good. Um, especially if you have somebody who's kind of hanging on, I do feel like it may hold you back a little bit, but this is a card of balance. It's like I said, it's cause and effect, and it's here to help you take action in your life, you know, to take action towards the future. It's also an indication of having very clear cut expectations in a relationship, being upfront about what you want, not being afraid to say it, especially with the Ace of Swords. Because when we're in a relationship and we're afraid to tell the other person what we think or feel because we think they're going to leave, my God, then that's not the right match. But with justice, you have a balanced reciprocal energy coming forward. It's the two of you just being open, being honest. It's extremely integrous energy. It's a loyalty that doesn't have an expiration. So this, in terms of commitment, is really wonderful. And I know it's not maybe the most... Um, you know, we like to see the cups when we're talking about love. But I do feel like with this, there's going to be a long-term stability added to it. Now, with the Ace of Swords, the Aces are, like we said, are all about initiation and beginnings and focus. But that Ace of Swords is also about the truth and courage and boldness. And so I do feel like you move forward into something, you take that leap of faith, and you're going to have fun with it. And the um, Ace of Pentacles offers long-lasting changes, especially in love. It's abundance and it's a new chapter. It's a new chapter though where you're in alignment. You are in alignment so you have a high vibrational relationship. It's when we're in a low vibrational state and we attract people that those relationships aren't here to stay. So you also have two with the Ace of Swords. It cuts through the crown of the ego there and you also have the Yodes of the Tarot coming in. 
the first letter of the name of God in Hebrew. So they're telling you that it's divinely guided. You're going to have an opportunity here. And it may be too for some of you, if you get invited to something that you wouldn't normally go to, that may be your opportunity to line up and meet this person because that's definitely up their alley to do just kind of fun, unusual things. So let's see here what the angels have to say for you, Cancer. Messages, love messages for Cancer. Love messages for Cancer. All right, you have here communicate clearly because the universe always hears your heart. Especially when the brain and heart are not in alignment, your heart will whisper the truth. We have, you ask your angels, ask and they'll tell you. That's one of the biggest things. We don't do the asking. We just kind of go through life, you know, hoping. But let's ask. Let's be intentional. You've got a golden opportunity. So there, again, there may be some special event where you line up because you've got perfect timing. They're telling you, you are in alignment for love and you have a yes. So is it in the cards? Yes. There's love here for you. I love you too. And I'll be back again soon.